So in this week in Grand Theft Auto Online, we've got the Act 3 finale here over at the facility, Doomsday Heist, which is dishing out double cash and double RP. So in this video, we are going to be going through every single little bit of the actual finale itself. Later on, we will have detailed videos on every single one of the actual preps and the setups on how to get through those. But this right here for this like particular video, we're just going to be focusing on the actual finale. So you guys can pay for setups. I suggest you don't. I suggest you just get out there and do the preps. And then from there, you're going to have to get into the setups. A little bit time consuming, yes, but rewarding most definitely this week because it's dishing out double cash and double RP. So we're going to skip this for some separate videos right here. The best ways of getting through this stuff and show you all that stuff in a separate video because I wanted to focus on the finale itself. There's a lot of players out there and they think that the actual Act 3 finale is one of the hardest to do in the game. Which yes, it can be challenging and yes, it can be lengthy. But as you guys are about to see here more towards the end of the video, we're going to be making some good money. Make sure that you are snacked up, of course, full snacks and full armor. And yes, this is the Doomsday Heist, so we're going to need a friend to help us. So I'm going to grab my friend Solar, and uh, we're going to go in here, and we're going to show you every single little aspect of the finale. We're going to show you all the tips and the tricks that I know about this, the best guns that you should be using, and also like how to hack and things like that. All right, so we're going to grab the barrage. My friend, my friend was going for the tank. I don't know if he was jukesing me out or what there. We're going for the barrage. Now, the reason we're going for the barrage is because this thing is, uh, well, we're going to sell the tank later. We're not going to be able to sell this. This is what you're going to do in the tunnels. You're going to back it up. Your friend's going to be on the back with a grenade launcher. Just like this. Trust me, you don't need the tank. You're going to make a lot more money at the end by selling the tank. And then also talking about it too, if you complete all of the missions on hard mode, supposedly you will see an, another additional bonus. We'll be making, once again, more videos talking about how to get the elite challenge done, talking about all the preps and the setups individual, because this week, once alone, is dishing out double cash and double RP on the actual finale here of Act 3. So, you got a lot of guys in our way? Yeah, no worries, because we got a grenade launcher. Yeah, there you go. Just keep backing up. You might have to stop like this for a little bit. But there it is. And then, of course, I'm using, like, my AP pistol. So I got, like, an AP pistol. I'm shooting while he's shooting the grenade launcher. Just like this. This is going to be, like, the best method. Just make your way around those blown-up vehicles. And keep making your way down, yeah, down this corridor, I think. Uh, hold on. I had to turn on my, my mini-map. There you go. All right. Here comes the part where there's going to be juggernauts up here. So you want to just inch up here. You don't want to go all the way up because the juggernauts will shred your friend on the back a little bit. So like right here. There you go. We're getting out. It's go time. So I did fast forward a little bit of this. We're going to be throwing sticky bombs back here. That hopefully will take care of the juggernauts. If not, they're going to come around the corner. You better get your minigun out and get ready to snipe them. Like right in the face with a minigun. Snack up. Armor up. If you get damaged, pay close attention. Now right around here in this room, it's going to be a bunch of dudes. Assault shotgun, RPG, anything like that. Yeah, they're going to like like to hide around in this area right here, too. So I'm using the Mark II MG Assault Shotgun AP Pistol. These are going to be some of the best weapons right now that you could be using. Go back here. Now, there's going to be another mini gunner up here. There's actually going to be a couple parts where there's a mini gunner. And I did speed this up, so we're not sitting here just real time. We're just going through this. So notice that me and my friend are right together here. He's watching my back. I'm watching his. I'm just going down here with a minigun. Killing anything in my path. Using up an atomizer if you want to. Yeah, that's what he's doing. Now, for this area, you guys are going to have to stick together, most likely. So, we're going to go around here. We're going to kill a lot of enemies. And also, we're going to have to gonna, like, blow a whole bunch of stuff up. So, like this stuff right there, you got to blow it up. It'll be marked on the mini map in the, the bottom left-hand corner over there. 
So in this room right here, I go a little bit slow. I'm a little bit more of a conservative player instead of just trying to RNG it because I would like to be a little bit more cautious. Why? Because I'm not trying to die and restart at any point, which you guys are going to notice. That it's not going to happen to us because me and my friend Solar are a really good team, which is uh, one of the more harder things to do too, is finding some person that knows exactly what they're doing when it comes to Act 3 scenario here, which honestly, once you keep doing this, it's not that hard. It's just a little bit lengthy because of all the preps, all the setups, and then the actual finale itself should be worth, in my mind, a lot more money. But hey, that's Rockstar trying to sell shark cards for you, right? So watch out in this room. Guys are going to be all over the place. I'm just using this MG. So we still have uh, some more locations to blow up. Now right in here, when you're getting into this room, Watch the left. My friend's going to go around and watch the right here. There's going to be dudes on each corner. If you need to, you can go into first person and you can actually strafe a lot faster. Just like this. Get this guy right here. Now there's going to be like some mini gunners down here, you guys. One of the best weapons that you can use is going to be a sniper rifle with a thermal scope. So it's going to be like the Mark II sniper rifle with the thermal scope. We have to go back down this way because there's a target that we needed to get. Yeah, the most of what I can say too, watch your mini map because right down there, it shows where your health is at. So if you need to snack up, this is why I said before at the very beginning of the video, make sure you're going in here with full snacks and full armor. And there's usually like just four weapons or five weapons. You can see I'm using the minigun. I'm using the Mark II MG. I'm using the assault shotgun. I've used the AP pistol. Uh, we got to run back here. We forgot one. Yeah, and then of course, we're going to be making a lot more help videos to help you guys out here. Like how to complete the Elite Challenge. And then also with the preps and setups, we'll be making individual videos on the best methods of doing things like that. Once we're breaking this down, because this is basically one of the best ways of making money this week. There's a lot of other things that are going on always in GTA, but right now this is double cash and double RP. And also to throw this out there, we do have a community challenge in which we need to earn $20 trillion in the game. That's insane, right? So just see me and my friend right here. There's like a dude back there or something. Yeah, there's stuff back there. And right down here, it's going to be the juggernaut. Watch me. And all this gameplay, yeah, is sped up a little bit. I think it's like two times or something. Right down here. Bam, headshot. Bam, headshot. Yeah, watch the railing up here because there's a whole bunch of guys and they're going to go up there. I'm going to send some RPGs down this way because there's going to be a juggernaut. My friend's on the left side watching the left side. He's doing the exact same thing that I am. He's launching RPGs down there. Okay, so we got the juggernaut. The Juggernaut's going to be like the biggest problem, I think. I think we got him. Yeah, if not, yeah, I'm using the MG here. Okay, make sure you guys stick together if you're doing this two-man. You you don't need any more people than just the two of you. Because think about it. If there's going to be more than two of you, then the payout is going to get divided up even more, right? And where you're not going to be getting paid as much money. Although it will take only two people for the setups. And also the actual finale. All right. So we made it past all that garbage. We've killed a ton of people. And we've also destroyed all of the targets for that area. Now the second part. Here we go. Pay close attention, people here. Going in. Minigun. Salt shotgun. I'm going to stay with my friend. Lots of guys everywhere here. He's using an atomizer. I'm running up here. Yeah, and if I didn't speed the gameplay up, then it'd be a lot longer video. I'm just showing you what we're doing here. We did not die. None of this is edited. You'll see at the very end. We're not going to get the Elite Challenge because we'll probably end up taking more than a half an hour because that's uh, one of the parameters for the Elite Challenge. So look at this area that I'm in right here. Good cover, but we got to stay with my friend. My friend is the hacker for this part. We've already established that in the very beginning before we even ran this. My friend knows how to hack. And guess what I know how to do? I know how to defend. So that's what I'm going to be doing is shooting all these NPCs. 
Yeah, using an MG Mark II machine gun. It's one of the best machine guns in the game. You put that extended mag on there, and then we're going back to assault shotgun. Now, my friend is over there hacking, and I'm going to show you what he has to do. There's going to be four terminals in here, and look at the area that I'm in. All right, now here's the hacking right here is what you have to do. So there's like a beam, and then you have to like turn this to like here or something. Or, or you have to turn it to where it's actually going to like bounce. Yeah, like that kind of. But then you got to take this, and then we turn that here. Okay? And then that, we have to like... Yeah, there you go. You just do this. Then that's going to go around or something. So like that right there. So you have to figure out the puzzle for each one. Because there's going to be four different hacks like this. And it's a little confusing. And there's no way of practicing this unless you actually have like been in here. Because unlike the arcade, it's where you can actually pay for devices that you can get inside the arcade that help you hack or help you, uh, you know, I'd say practice hacking. So right here, you guys get the drift of what's going on? It's a little confusing. So we don't want to have it on that one. We have to like break this right here. So the beams of light, right? So I'm just trying to get this just right. It's a little bit confusing. And this right here is the part where it can be uh, very time consuming. So basically, you just have to do that right there. Get the beams of light to the very end. So whoever's the better hacker, you want them hacking. So if you've like continuously been a hacker, then that's what you want to do. And then when my friend is done, because I'm defending him right now. Like, it's my main goal to defend my friend right now that is hacking. He's not getting shot because I'm killing all the dudes that are coming around here. Switching between only two weapons, Assault Shotgun and also the MG Mark II. These are really good weapons. Always paying attention to the bottom left-hand corner. That's where my life, my armor are. Try to get as many headshots as possible. All right, now my friend is staying in communication with me because he's ready to move. Now look at us go here. I sped this up because otherwise, once again, it would just take a while. This video wouldn't be like 15, 16 minutes. It'd be like a half an hour or something or longer than that. But I wanted to show through the key parts here. So when your friend moves, you move. Get back to this corner part right here. You see this part that I'm in? Don't always throw your body up over the edge either. You can literally stick your gun up around the edge and like shoot. It's amazing. Yeah, like that right there. Assault shotgun. Nothing's coming in. We're going to throw some other stuff in here too. If you wanted to, you can use some tear gas in the hallways. But be wary of the tear gas because if you're taking damage and you run through some tear gas, it'll damage you. All right, we're moving off to the next part here. So we've got the hacks, we've killed all the people. You get the drift of that because there's going to be four parts. And then this part is pretty self explanatory. We're on an orbital cannon gun and we got to go take out the clipper of targets right here. So I would say the most hardest part is going to be the hacking and defending. That's probably going to be the most stressful too because the hacker understands what kind of stress the shooter is under so that's what i said all you got to do is just get like two people one person knows their job my job killing people and defending my friend's job was being a hacker so we're gonna go back down this way once again yeah sped all this up dude just rocking mini guns let's go right through here spray everybody it's gonna be a big room of people in here kill all of them there you go that dude maybe get that guy right there all right more dudes down the hallway once again I'm more of a conservative game player which is why I'm not RNG in this right now because I'm also taking in consideration that I don't want to leave my friend behind and two people shooting somebody is a lot more firepower than one person so there we go we're getting more towards the end yeah just watch these hallways there's gonna be a lot of dudes in here I was just like assault shotgun the whole the whole way in the hall. And there's Avon. I think my friend tried to shoot him. 
Let's get into the thrusters. Get out of here. We'll go chase him down real quick. Shoot him. And we're good to go. So we ended up passing Act 3. I went over all the crucial parts. And right there, look at that. $4.5 million is what we ended up getting. Now, since I'm such a nice guy, I took a very small payout. Because I gave my friend all the money. Yeah, of course, we didn't get the Elite Challenge done. But we weren't going after the Elite Challenge. We were just going after money. Now, also, if you complete this this week, you will be getting a hoodie. Check it out. This is my friend's right here. Bam. This is how much money my friend just got. Which I think we can actually increase this to even more. Yeah, my friend just got paid over $3.8 million just for helping me do uh, some setups, which were a bit lengthy. And then the actual, you know, heist itself. But yeah, overall, pretty good. Especially with two people doing this. With just me being the gunner, my friend's the hacker, and this is how we complete Act 3. You guys, we got a lot of other help videos that are going to be coming out this week, and also a whole bunch of help videos and other way things like that of how to make money already on the channel. So if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to hit the like button on the way out, subscribe for new content, turn on those post notifications, go check out more videos, and thank you all for watching. My name is Gravesite, I'm a green alien, and I'm out of here, so peace!